Hey everybody, welcome to Live at the Blue Box. This is the big Doctor Who extravaganza. Actually, already <laughs> we're weak with that. The uh, We called it that and we didn't know what to call it. And Chris put on the thing, hey, until we come up with a better name. Last night, some kid wrote on our site, why didn't you call it Hoopalooza? So already we failed. <laughs> uh, so Hey, at least I came up with the name. You, yeah, I know, I didn't do nothing. anything. <laughs> nothing. Um, so... Before we jump into the uh, Doctor Who Apalooza, see, I even added the doctor. Thank you. Uh, we're going to do a show that we normally do here. It's called This Week in Geek. Uh, our week is the 13th? It's 16th. the 16th. May 16th, 2015. I never know the date. Uh, let's introduce ourselves and then let's jump in. We've got a lot of news and we've got limited time because we've got lots and lots of guests tonight. Uh, oh, and we are doing this live on Twitch. So if you want to tweet out to somebody and say, hey, watch it on Twitch. We're on there. Uh, the, the link is Southgate Media Group. There. We already have 15 people. All right. Wow. Woo. Here's the <laughs> biggest shocker of the night. We fit on that little camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wide lens. Yeah. A wide lens, I got to say. There's actually <laughs> multiple cameras. You just don't see them. <laughs> yeah. I thought there was a weight limit to this thing, and we really pushed it. <laughs> yes. uh, okay, so shall we, uh, shall we, uh, oh, let's introduce ourselves. Let's start on the end there. Uh, my name is Alil Kanitza. Um, I do a couple other podcasts, one called the League of Geeks podcast, and that's Geeks with a Z. I am Edward Lee. I'm Chris Mao, owner of, Ed, go, Edward, talk more. <laughs> say something more. Say something about yourself. Um, I got a haircut. Yeah, I got a haircut. Two say, bits. Wow, yeah. <laughs> hey, I didn't I, recognize him. <laughs> I probably gained ten more years. No. Yeah. Right. And you, you're a regular host yes, of this I'm week. Yes, I'm a regular Geek. host of this week in Geek. Yes. So if you don't like it, blame a little. Yes. There That's we all go. Right. We always do. Blame I get blamed a, a lot. Yeah. You do get blamed a lot. <laughs> yes. Um, my name is Chris Mao, uh, owner or co-owner of Blue Box Cafe and co-host of several podcasts on the Southgate Media channel. So. Yes. Yes. And uh, I'm Rob Southgate, one of the co-owners of Southgate Media Group, and I'm on a lot of podcasts. Marvel podcast, too, for my buddy right there. All right. Oh, and speaking of Doctor Who, we as a family do Cuckoo for Who, which is a family podcast with our eight-year-old daughter, Molly. So she will be making a special appearance wow. tonight, too. All right. <laughs> Enough <laughs> with that. Let's jump into this thing. And my computer froze. Uh, does anyone have one they want to jump in before I start railing about something? No. Uh, come on, Edward. You always have something prepared. What's going on? I mean, this isn't really worth mentioning. Okay, then I'm okay. going. All right. Go. Mine is huge. Okay, go for it. Okay. Did you? <laughs> did you? Mark no, my words. Mark my words. Already. Uh, did you? Uh, did you guys read that Disney is talking about making yes. in the future a Star Wars channel? I can't even get past that. <laughs> what? And a Marvel channel. That is unbelievable. But that's actually been in the works for a while. I know, but they. We've all talked you're, about this, but you're behind the times. Well, you know what? <laughs> it came out this week that they're actually like right. working this. I know a little fledgling podcast company that could fill a little time for them. I do. League of Geeks. Oh, yeah. 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 Exactly. I mean, no, of course, That's we're very Disney with a Z. That's, That's right. right. No, I mean it's, it's awesome. I'm just curious at how much content they're going to have. I mean, we do have um, a good amount of cartoons. Some movies, but there, there's for not a enough channel, to fill. There's right. not well, enough. That's why no. I said, yeah. Yeah. like with this, like we could take Radio Free Endor, and we could that could be a half hour show on there of just guys sitting around talking about Star for Wars sure. on there. And you know what? That fills time. That's what they need. But, you know. But what's going to happen is they're going to have all the Star Wars stuff, and then they're going to be like, we're going to show reruns of Quantum Leap, and well, it's but, just going to be sci-fi. But, yeah. but are they going to take? all of these different channels that they're making all of these different spin-offs and then they're going to turn them into the channel and do reruns so like you got oh, Deadpool sure. you've got you know you know but you've Deadpool's got Cold War Zones that, that's 2 hours well, but, but I'm saying or you know or, or Daredevil or all of these other little shows that they can they can put out there so yeah, yeah. I, I am sure they're going to do that they're not they're not going to put Daredevil on network tv or cable well, not, tv not, 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 for not, a while. No. not on, on a Disney channel TV. Well, not but, for a while it's new it's, line cinema come on well, but it's, it's, I bet in their deal with Disney and Netflix that they have some kind of way that they can show the reruns as long as it's branded with Netflix because that goes back to Netflix. Oh, sure. And the new season won't be on there for two years or three years or something like that. I think that's what they'll do. 
Possibly, but again, they're, they're still short content for a 24-hour show, 24-hour channel, yeah. seven days a week. Hey, it, you, there won't be enough. They'll just do reruns after true. maybe Well, give, give Marvel years. like five years, and they'll have like 2,000 films to put on <laughs> yeah, the channel. Right. So. That's true. <laughs> And I will watch it 24-7. I mean, that's all we'll that, be on. That's when they start dipping back into, like, the 70s Captain America movies, the 70s <laughs> Spider-Man. Which I own which all I those. <laughs> and I own them all on DVD. Right. Red Brown yeah. is one of the yeah. best Captain Americas yeah. ever. To- uh, amazing. <laughs> Toby Maguire won't look that bad after a while. So I'm just saying. Oh. I thought Toby was good. I did, too. I'm I just saying. Yeah, he, Toby he Maguire be... was great Well, that. speaking of Spider-Man. Oh, hey, segue. How Thank did we you. go into that? Asa Butterfield. <laughs> From Ender's Game is now in talks yes, well, to be Peter Parker. In it's, talks. it's in right. talks. Yes, yeah. he's. They're negotiating the deal to be the next Peter Parker in the Spider-Man. Whatever title I keep hearing different titles, it, but it's Spider-Man: the, the Next Avenger. Spider-Man. Yes, that okay. Marvel and Sony are co-producing. Right. Okay. So Asa, it, go, with them going with Asa Butterfield, such a young actor. I mean. It's 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 going to open up so much for them that you're, they're going to be they're going to put this kid in so many movies as Spider Man because right. he's not going to age as right. as much as thirty year old Andrew Garfield is going to age. Well, compared I could to everybody cast else. Ben Affleck as Spider Man. <laughs> yes, yeah. So <laughs> Can you I'm I'm actually I, I've never seen Ender's Game. What? I'm just, oh, I, really? I, wow. Yeah, wow. That's awesome. That is. It's, it's, very it's good. amazing. I, I plan on I plan on getting Thumbs to it, up. especially now. Everyone um, boo him. But just boo him. Wait, what? Boo me. Yeah. Hey, for Rob, top of your Harrison Ford impersonation. For what? Oh, because of Ender's, Ender's game. game. That's right, Age of the Butterfield. Nobody heard that. Nobody, Nobody, Nobody even knows exactly. that. No one hears that. But I, I like the way they're going with, with Peter Parker. And I'm glad it's too. Peter Parker, not Miles Morales. Well, and I also like that they, they said it's not going to be the origin story. They said that Peter Parker is already swinging around out there right. in, like, some homemade suit. Right, so what, That's cool. what, what they're saying is, is it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be at least a three to four movie arc, oh, nice. and it's going to be like uh, for him about growing into the role of Spider-Man. Right. So, so by the end, end, he's like okay. twenty-three, and he's in real life, and right, he's and he can believe right. the, and he can lead the Avengers kind of thing because Spider-Man okay. eventually becomes one of the you know, right. figureheads of the Avengers. Right. And at that point, that's when they'll have Fantastic Four back. And then they could do the whole Fantastic Four Spider-Man story too. Yes, because that's gonna happen. And then Future Foundation Spider-Man. Oh, shut with the, your with the mouth. white costume. That would be awesome. Oh, I would like that God. with the white and black costume. Yeah, that would be, really be oh, that would be awesome. Gosh, oh, that's good. That's good news. too much, a little. Why do you drop bombs on me like that? <laughs> Can you imagine if they do Future Foundation? That would be amazing. I, I would. Be, it, yeah, oh, I'm, I'm oh, speechless because oh, I would. Lo- I would just want. I just want to see that that, that costume on no, screen. I, I know. And I want to see. I want to see all the different costumes. I, I want to see big time Spider Man. It's with crazy. the with the fluorescent green spider where, yes. he, where you know it's. Oh. Yes. If you didn't know, I love Marvel and I love Spider Man. I want to see Spider Ham. I want to see Spider Ham brought to yeah. life. <laughs> Maybe That'd be amazing. Maybe on the Marvel Channel in yes. live action. Oh, yes. <laughs> get a live yes. action. Live action. Pitch, pitch that. You're going to get Bebop in the Ninja Turtles movie, so why True. not? Why not? You could do live action pigs. Or maybe they do Babe and they spray paint him in Spider Man's costume. Babe, Babe 3. Is, did they do a third Babe? Or? I don't know. Because I only know there was two. Did anybody know if there was a third Babe movie? Were there three Babe movies? I know Babe League of the City. All right. So Babe 3, he turns into Spider Ham. <laughs> I th- I he gets bit Babe, by a radioactive spider. I thought spider. Babe 3 turned into breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Babe 3, the last. Yeah. <laughs> the frying it is. Babe hey, 3, man. bacon and ham. The last supper. Bacon the eggs. Last, <laughs> my last. Oh, hey, Terrible. we digress. Five yeah. minutes in. Babe great. eggs and ham. Well, less than seven <laughs> minutes. That's good. Well, here's the good news. I didn't get booed already, so... I got away with it. Nobody's, nobody's paying attention. Eat, yeah, they're not hey, listening. Just so everyone Good knows, choice. you can boo Rob at yeah. any time. There's good, no problem about that. Please do. Um, as long as we're talking, I, I'm going to get off the Marvel thing. I want to jump on Never. one more, though. Josh Boone, who made the movie The Fault of Our Stars. I don't know. Did anybody see that oh, in yeah. here? Yeah, it was okay. Okay. Yeah. I didn't see it, but I guess it's kind of yeah. depressing, and it's supposed to be really good. Kind of depressing. Yeah. Kind of depressing. I don't know. It's okay. So, oh, so it's really depressing. Yeah. Well, the Titanic so is, was is it a like, small like, accident. Is it that like, movie was because I hate it. Is it, it. like <laughs> Jaden Smith depressing? Because that is depressing. Um, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, oh, hello, sister. 
Let's hashtag I've, that one. Um, <laughs> anyway, can't Josh be that good. Boone is set to direct. This is the one. I, I can already feel my blood pressure going up. I'm so excited. A new mutants movie. Yes. For Fox. Uh, yes. Yeah. I don't care if it's for Fox. No, it's but it's for new, Fox. And it, it, it's the it, new mutants. And it goes back on everything you've been arguing about with Fox getting back to Marvel. With, more, with the X-Men no, getting doesn't. back to Marvel. No, it doesn't. Because they're going to keep pumping these movies no, out that no. extends their contract. Right. It doesn't go back, though, and I'll tell you why. Because if they step on a banana and it doesn't work and, and they don't make money, if all of a sudden it's not making money at some point, but it's going it to make happen, money. Not People don't know these new mutants like they know Wolverine. Wolverine won't be there. But that's there. the thing. They don't need it to make $100 million because they're going to, just like with Deadpool, but, but Spider-Man smaller budget. Right. Yes, because Spider-Man 2 cost, cost the same that Avengers 2 cost to make. Right. And that's why it failed. And it was well worth the money. Yes. Yeah. Which Crickets. Yeah. <laughs> I still like Spider-Man 2. I don't care. I do too, but it wasn't that good, man. Well, yeah. we, we, well we've addressed this on this, on this podcast before. we talked before. about Spider-Man? No, about the, the whole... Fox and the you know that they don't need to hit the home run; they just need to make money on the right. Movies. And but they can keep it going because they're they're not you know, they're not in DC land short term. Well, and you know what? When we started, when we started podcasting on Nuff Said, we started doing this. I was saying that that was going to happen with Sony, and everybody doubted me. I'm telling you, it's going to happen with Fox, but it's not going to be soon. Give them time to screw up. The reason I'm excited about New Mutants is number one: I don't care if it's Fox or it's a New Mutants movie. I'm excited about that. I love that comic. Number two, go ahead, screw it up, let Marvel get it back, but they'll see that there's a property there that can make something out of. Yeah, the sure. New Mutants, it's supposed to be a standalone flick. It's not supposed to be a uh, series. It's only supposed to be Just one Just a standalone yeah. film. Standalone well, film. Well, that, they're going to say that, but if it's a huge hit... It's oh, they'll come out with yeah. yeah. That'll change. And how they, long until we get Alpha Flight? Did they, did they, did yeah. they <laughs> announce uh, what, what characters they're going to put in it or anything about that? No. Uh, no. No, because right, I'm curious if it's going to be cable. Way to bring that conversation to a screeching halt. Well, yes. nobody knows. I'm just asking. It's going to be Ace of Butterfield and uh, <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Okay, who's got one? Because we've oh, been talking a lot. I, I'm yeah. gonna, I'm, I am going to go there. The Supergirl trailer that came out this week. Yeah. Where, Did anybody watch, anybody that, watch the, that? The Supergirl trailer? Anyone? Okay. Yes. I like it. <laughs> yes, James. I have the same smile. I have. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Did, okay. I liked it. Did, so only a couple people watch it. Is anybody excited for the Supergirl show? No. One, two. No. Eh. Iffy. Okay, the rest of you wrong. I'm going to give it a uh, chance. The, oh. the, uh, the trailer was fantastic. Yeah. Did you I like it? I enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I thought it was good. Here, okay, just a quick description. It's kind of what you fear the most. It looks like a CW Supergirl show in the beginning. And it's, it's almost like you're watching you know, a Sandra Bullock movie with teenagers, and you're like, uh-oh. And then she gets the costume, and she, like, gets a plane and, yes. like, flies, and it's, like, unbelievable. And it looks better than the, especially from Superman 3 on, it looks better than any of those. Superman 3, Superman well, 4, terrible. You're, you're not comparing it to very much. But this is a TV show, and it looks so much better. <laughs> right. it's, and it's so much better we're, than that Supergirl movie. We're 30 Wait, years into the Helen future Hunt? of yes. technology. <laughs> But it, Anything well, looks better than Nuclear Man. Yeah, but but the <laughs> but the the uh, I know that visually it's going to look better, but the the feel of it, the pacing, right. awesomeness. Yeah, and I think they're gonna they'll make it accessible to like the the a younger fan like um, Edward. Yeah, like Edward. No, but I mean, you know, the, the, I think they're going to go into not just the geek fan. They're going to try to get everybody. But he's I, both. But he has been both. But I think they can get into that and still satisfy what the geek wants to see, and then also get a broader broader range to make it a TV show that has some legs. Well, yes. Because they're tying into Superman. They're tying, I mean, they got the well, whole backstory. Well, they said they're going to tie it to the CW shows. Yeah, which is so, good. And then Tom Welling will appear, and I will be happy. I'm going to pass he's, he's supposed to be in the Flash I know. season yeah. two. So. He's, he's supposed to be Superman in something. Yeah, he's going to be He's going to be Superman in the season two of Flash. Thank F- uh, goodness. Flash is supposed to be basically run through, through time and through alternate d- worlds and okay. end up in Smallville. In that in that time, in really? Nice. Wait a minute, can't be that time because Tom Welling looks like me at this point. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. <laughs> He's like twenty-one. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> not, not, you are giving yourself way too much <laughs> yeah, credit. <laughs> Mar- wait a minute, Martha said I look better now than I did back then. So really? See? Yeah. Oh yeah. That, yeah but, but that's you know, unfortunate. <laughs> I, just want I look like somebody <laughs> beat me with a bag of soap. I think you need thicker glasses. Like yeah. the, the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, but he's bad. no Tom Welling. I'm just saying that. 
Yeah. <laughs> I got my face caught in a bunch of rat traps. That's what happened. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 All right, so Edward, what did you think of it? You keep wanting to say I, something. I didn't see it. I mean, and well, Lord, it's... I stopped it for you. Yeah, I know. I didn't see it, but I don't want to watch it, so I don't... Anyone Why don't you want to watch it? Just... Because it's Supergirl, and he's a 10-year-old boy. Oh. <laughs> no, that is exactly who should be watching it, by yeah, the way. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. He's going to watch it, but, you know... Yeah, but He's we... not going to watch it. He has to go to Uncle Lil's to watch that <laughs> show. <laughs> Uncle Lil's. Don't tell my mom. <laughs> he's in so, the back. So, uh... It. What did you think of, the, of it? Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. I'm loving it. Thumbs yep, up. Thumbs up. We're giving right. it a rating of Thumbs three. Sideways. <laughs> what? How are you rating you? You can't rate it. it. You can't that's, rate it. That's horrible. You cannot rate that. So, Yeah, definitely. So, I love so, it. No. All right. I'm down with it. All right. Uh, moving on. Uh, let's get off the, the superhero stuff for a second. They're remaking The Craft. Anybody see mm. the movie The Craft? You remember this movie? I love okay. it. It had what? Uh, it had dark-haired girl and another dark-haired girl. <laughs> and, do you remember that one? And they, and they were witches. And, yeah. and yeah. they were witches. You know what it was? It was it was that generation's Mean Girls, but with right. witches. With witches. Yeah, I liked it. I remember. I, I, I've seen, I think <laughs> I, I owed it on DVD Anna, well, I know, I know sure why you liked it, yeah. but that's okay. So. Hey, it came out like when I was in high school, so oh, yeah. it worked. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm watching it with the sound off. Yeah, I, no, I, I, I listened to it. I actually uh, <laughs> I listened to it. Uh, yeah, I actually, I mean, what the heck? I'm up for anything. I think that sounds awesome. Who's going to be in it, though? Have they said anything? No. I don't, I don't think anybody's... Who cares? Yeah. Can we not come uh, up with something original? I mean, it was okay. I don't think it's... I don't no, think it's well, re- do you remake see what, Do you see what's coming out this summer? I mean... Yeah, I do. Terminator, Jurassic Park, But those are all guys. awesomeness. Yeah. Again, but they still can't come up with a new like idea. An original right. idea. Yeah. That's true. I know. It's, it's just it's unfortunate that we have to go that deep. Because it wasn't that good of a movie. <laughs> and, then, and, then they went, and then when they come up with new ideas, we get pixels, right? Yes. <laughs> oh. Which is an amazing movie. I still want to see it. No, I'm, I'm going to enjoy it. Though. Pixels is not a... No, you don't. I I wanna, wanna, I, Kevin James what? is the Antichrist. He is, I, I don't I'm mind. not <laughs> seeing a movie with him. Ball you shave his head, it's got a 666 on it. So you're going to tell me, <laughs> don't, don't watch the fat comedian Although guy. Like, it's, uh, it's a 9 Yeah, John Candy. Let's redo that. What? I said, of course I'm going to enjoy the fact. Oh, it's a fat comedian. Yeah. <laughs> what if it was Louis Anderson in Pixels? You know what? No, I, wait. I, I, saw, I saw Louis Anderson Who's a the guy? year ago at Woodfield. Reaver. Was it cleaning his up? Company, no, his job <laughs> was great. Wait, was great. Great. who's the guy from S.H.I.E.L.D., the okay. fat comedian? What'd you say? Who's the guy from S.H.I.E.L.D., fat comedian? From S.H.I.E.L.D., who's a yeah, fat comedian? The fat, uh, He's a Pat Nozzle. Oh, Pat I, thought Nozzle. I thought you meant you Vic <laughs> Mackey from The <laughs> no. S.H.I.E.L.D. He's, He's a not penguin. a comedian. He's on the, he was on no. the same show with Kevin James. Pat yeah. Oswalt Pat was Oswald very funny. in Pixels. What? He was in Kevin James' show? Yeah, they were yeah. in the, um, what's his, the TV show here with Leah Remini. King uh, of Queens. King, King of Queens, yeah. yeah, he was in that. He was in oh, it yeah. a lot. He was like a, uh, a regular. reoccurring I character. I, I couldn't get time. past yeah. that show at all. <laughs> How <laughs> she was with him. Oh, yeah. Was so distracting. But it's the same thing that we ask why your wife is with you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but I occasionally come up with a funny joke. That's oh. the difference, right, Marth? No, okay. <laughs> See, stone face. <laughs> yeah, right. So, no so, comment. I, I would watch that. I'm like, I don't, Fifth. I don't get this. It, like, it was hard. And I like Jerry Stiller. He was on and, that show. Oh, and and why, would, why didn't they kill him? Because I would have killed him first off. I mean, I'm he what? was great, but he was what annoying. I'm saying, him? I'm he saying, who? if he was living in my basement, I would have killed him because he would. I mean, just in the character, not him. He was great. He was great in the show. But I would have killed so him. So when we travel to Comic Cons, I have to be afraid if yes. I hear. No. Uh, do you guys have an extra pillow? What? <laughs> dun dun dun. Those aren't pillows. No, he was. <laughs> Chris is like, let me show you my basement. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have one. That's a good that's, thing. That's so. like for that reason. Can you help me move this into my car? I, <laughs> yes. It puts the lotion. Okay, Chris, no. <laughs> I can't do the dance, so no. Yeah, not going to happen. V-Boy? V-Boy, yes. Remember when he did that? Oh, gross. I can do the dance. Oh, gross. <laughs> when Jason Mewes did it, it was even better. Yeah. By the way. Was, the was, Edward, yeah, do you know sorry. what we're talking about? Fantastic. I have no idea what we're talking Uncle about. Uncle Will tell you later. About it. You shouldn't see that movie. He's going to draw you a picture. Um, Ew. <laughs> gross. I have one. Okay, this was huge news this week. Harry Shearer leaves The Simpsons. Yeah. I don't care. You don't care. <laughs> I mean, it's huge news for The Simpsons, but The Simpsons... I know it's, they're, it's they're, right now. Just it's just running on fumes. It doesn't matter right. who's doing what. Right. 
They're catching 25 checks. year plus. I mean, here's why it's big news. Because he's been an integral part of the show for so long. I don't get what happened here. I mean, I do, but I don't. Why now in year 24 does he decide to play hardball about money? That's what it was. Yeah. The, the whole cast agreed to a certain amount. They said, we're all going to take X amount. We got two, another two-year contract. That's what we're going to go with. And then Harry Shearer says, and I want. And they said, see ya. Why? Why not just write it out for yeah. a couple more years? Or is it just, you know what, I've got my millions, I'm done. Exactly. He's, he's done it for, you know, like you said, 24 years and making millions upon millions. You know what? If 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 he didn't, if he two didn't more years, it, two more years. Keep your mouth shut. Who cares? Eh. Yeah. I guess I'm not a hard negotiator. I don't care. You throw me a couple of million. I'll keep doing it. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you'd do anything for a dollar. Well, I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah. Usually for or usually for free. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you haven't loss. noticed. Can I pay you? Yes. I'm in. How much is it going to cost yeah. me? <laughs> unless, unless somebody charged for you guys to get in, this is all free. So. That's right. <laughs> um, so yeah, you guys don't care. No. I, 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 I think it's sad for the show because it's gone this far. But and I think it's weird. It's nothing that's going to impact yeah. it or, or change what's, what's going on in the show. But if you, no. you've done it for 24 years, and he's a pretty talented guy, I think he just said, I'm done. It's not worth the hassle. Yeah. And I well, think it was an excuse to just get out. Yeah, it's probably it. Now, okay. the interesting thing, though, is in the past, when people have left the show, they've killed off the characters. <laughs> With this, they said, right. he's like seven major yeah, characters. They're, they're, they're like, we're him. not killing them. Ned Flanders is not going anywhere. Mr. No, Burns is not going anywhere. There's enough voice actors out there that can fill in, and you know there'll be a everybody can do those voices exactly. at this yeah. point. Edward, let's hear him. Nope. <laughs> Anybody? Anyone? Anyone? That would have been going? awesome. Um, so I have one. Go! Oh, oh. Edward has one. They're uh, they're obviously making Supergirl? a Fast and Furious eighth movie. Every it, week really? it's a Fast and Furious thing. Are you obsessed? Uh, kind of. He is, man. R.I.P. Paul Walker. So. They're going to be make year. the new movie. They said a release date. It's going to be June fourteenth, two thousand two thousand and seventeen. Okay. Wow. Is it going to be called Fast and Furious Eight? Uh, no, probably no, not. No, they're going to call it Fate. Fate. <laughs> no Fate. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be Fate, fate and right? Furious. Fate. Yeah. I just made that up because their names are so stupid. <laughs> I knew what they were going to do. It's F E I G H T. I know Fate. Freight. So oh, freight? No, fate. Freight. Yes. Is it really called that? No, it's not. Oh, oh that would. <laughs> I was like, Mark my words. About? They're gonna have a poster that says fate. You watch. No, it's probably gonna be called It'll Fast be and Furious. No, it's not. It's no, not. It's, it could be what? Fast and Furious Supercharged no, because that's, that's the ride. Yeah, that's that's the ride. actually worse. That's actually worse than mine. I mean, look, look at the poster. No, no, that is. But oh, that's, that's fantastic. It says, it says new ride right out yeah. there, Edward. But they could easily put that. Homeschool yeah, fail. Of course. It won't be. Yeah, it, it won't be. You're done. Fate. Sure. Um, but I did enjoy Fast, uh, F- Fast Fury 7. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. I movie. didn't see it. Oh, it's, it's I haven't seen good. any of them. Of course. I'll Wait see them. What? I'll binge them at you'll, some point. You'll see them. The other one is 20 years old. I'll <laughs> binge them. Like... I'll watch them. And, you, know. you drive like the first one. I mean, I it, promise. I'll, it's I'll, like I'll, normal driving now. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll pour something out for Paul it's Walker true. during the... Oh. I like Paul Walker. Really? Varsity Blues. Oh. Great movie. I know. You have oh, a thing about Varsity like Blues. I do. You know what? You're I'm not we're gonna, gonna put a moratorium it. on Varsity Blues after that time you showed up with the whipped cream like the girl in the movie. <laughs> That's it. That was a <laughs> joke you know, just you know, for you. You know Chris Evans did that in a movie called Not Another Teen Movie, where they spoofed that movie and he actually And Chris Evans did that. Chris Evans did the star of that. I just threw up a little bit. That's great. <laughs> just saying. Bring it back to Marvel. Bring it back. Yeah, bring so. it back. All right, um, I'm going to go with... I own, it, I own it on DVD. Mad Max, Fury Road. Amazing. Um, anybody seen Mad Max? Yes. Um, <laughs> of course yeah. you did. <laughs> hang, all I have to do is say hang on because it's 120 minutes of nonstop action. Yeah. E- even when the screen's black, there's action. That's how I have to say it. So it was, it was pretty amazing. It was, John, should we go? Anyone? If, if you, We're if, going. If you love 80s movies, this is the best 80s movie since the 80s. Is Molly like, Ringwald is, in it? It is no. great. No, no she's not None of it. them are in it. That's why it's the best. It's really good, but it's, it's, it's just... It's got the brat back. It's that all, 80s feel. It's they all look great. like oh, yeah. me at this point? Well, it, it, is, it, is, it is Mad Max <laughs> on steroids. It's, it is. It, it's like Mad Max and the Matrix merged together and spewed out this unbelievable car chase movie. Yes. yes. R. R, yeah. Oh, 
Well, the boys There's, can't go, but you and I can. Our, our, or we don't tell them. Or because of the violence. <laughs> our, it, it's, it's it's not a... Uh, there's, no, there's no like language in it. It's just no. violence. Is it like off and off, or is it a full-off? No, I, th- I think... Well, wait, I wait a minute. No. When did we start a rating no, system? No, no. It's, it's, it's a half an hour. It's a half an hour. <laughs> it's very there's a there's a high body count and there's yes, a lot that's of that's the only reason why. Uh, right, but yeah. there's it's not there's no there's nothing sexual, there's nothing like no. that. It's just it's full blown yeah, it's crazy. Yep. But it, uh, all right. it's good. <laughs> We're on. And, and um Tom Hardy literally has ten lines in the whole movie. He does. And ten he, lines. That's and it, he so. is and he is channeling his inner Dolph Lundgren the whole oh, yeah. movie. Now, does he do what? Bane or does he do Dolph? He, well, because he does Bane would... for half the movie. Does he? Face yeah. it is, it's great. <laughs> does he do the voice? And I'm like no. sitting there, I'm like, is he gonna talk yes. this entire movie? So oh. it's gonna be over his face. Because like, well, the Bane I'm, thing is the greatest. Well, well and, and then he it gets the, be then he gets the mask oh. off and he doesn't talk for like a half hour and you're like, are you gonna talk? And then it doesn't happen. He says nothing. Nothing. Yeah. It's the opening monologue and then silence. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. But it's 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 uh, spectacular. It's a it's a visual spectacular so movie. This, and so this was crazy. a new segment on this week in Geek. We had a movie review. That's right. Yes. Yeah, That's awesome. It's a long line. And lines. Edward, we're going to tell your mom it's PG thirteen. That's right. Well, PG for you. PG. Yes. PG. Because so. you're like that seven. way. It's safe. She but John and I know it's a half an hour. It's a <laughs> half an hour. So, so would that be like a, a G? Not G. It's What's almost half R? a G. Almost it's a G. It's closer to a G than an R when it's a half an R. Um, Kate Beckinsale is signed for Underworld 5. Does anyone oh, yeah. care? No, nope. I love Kate Beckinsale, but I don't care about Underworld 5. Okay. <laughs> you guys are excited? Oh, good. Awesome. Okay. Want to hear my I shame? I am, too. I was so excited when the first one came out. Like, the preview, I'm like, awesome. Vampires fighting werewolves. Kate Beckinsale in tight pants, all five <laughs> stars. That's that's I, a ten star I, on the scale. I bought the DVD. Mark I my words. I still have not opened the DVD oh. yet. He's watched <laughs> yet. He's watched the sequels to the Twilight movies fifteen times. Oh, no, I haven't seen because those Because it's, va- it's, it's werewolves versus <laughs> vampires. Is it? Oh, it is. Right. Yeah. It no. Is. Terrible. <laughs> I can't. But I it got lost to time, so I haven't watched these. But now I'm thinking maybe we'll do a binge watch. And do oh, like yeah. a Twitter party, and we have to watch the first four Underworlds no, in our can... underwear. You know what? I... Oh, boo! I, I really. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. Just let's let's not move a little, on. Not a little, a little wearing whipped cream. Let's move on. Yes. Yeah. No yeah. kidding. I, I'm excited to see it if they <laughs> if if they stick to the original the original theme and not get crazy. If they just do the vampires werewolves, it'll be okay. It's not going to well, be okay. Chris. Well, no, it will Keep be. Keep trying. It's going to be terrible. No, it won't. But it's Kate Beckinsale. I like her. Come on, the, the original. Yeah, if they could bring back some of the original cast because they pulled out every. Great Wasn't English Bill actor. Nighy in there? Yeah, Bill Nighy was yeah. in there. I love him. He's awesome. Um, Sheen was in there. Sheen. Sheen? Charlie Sheen? No, not Charlie Sheen. Mar- <laughs> Martin, Martin Sheen. Sheen. Martin Sheen. Martin Sheen. Did he shoot he chickens at him? Sheen. <laughs> it's like, Sheen. It's like Sheen was there. Sheen. Sheen. There was a Sheen. Yes, that was a fine. A, She's starting, a, yes. She's starting to jiggle. Okay, I got, I got one. This is important news to me. Uh, David Lynch no is back on Twin Peaks. So it's important to some of us. So you guys were following the story at all? I think we yeah, covered yeah. it on this week. Yeah. Yeah. David Lynch, they signed him to do uh, Twin Peaks, a limited series uh, for, the, for the thing with the original creator. And then he dropped out. I thought it reeked of, I'm dropping out because I want them to pay me more. And guess what? They did. They, they paid, paid, him they more. paid him more. He's back. Now they're all friends. And I'm happy. I think it's going to be awesome. And good. Pay him more. I mean, David Lynch is awesome. How much does he really do? <laughs> pay the guy. You know? Yeah, I agree. All right. Well, you didn't care. Well, uh, I, Woody, Woody Allen regrets that, he's tri- <laughs> that he signed up for dude, the Netflix so Did you hear? Did you read the story? Or yeah. Not? Yes. It's it's Woody Allen being Woody, Woody Allen. Allen. Oh, it's been terrible my whole life now without the. It's all he's doing. I'm reading it, going, who cares? Yeah. Just make a TV show. I don't know why. Yeah. It, and, but you know what? I still like Woody Allen movies. Well, no, it, it's it's probably gonna be a I great show. I just won't show. let him. I won't let him babysit. Right. <laughs> well, I, I love his excuse where he goes, "Well, I don't think I can, I'm doing a good job, and they may not like it at the end." Of course, we're gonna like it, and of course, we're gonna watch it. Right. Yes. Of course. It's gonna be great. So. If he invites you out for Chinese. <laughs> okay, so uh, Jackie Chan That's and Owen Wilson are reteaming stole, for, you stole your thing. for he Shanghai stole, stole Dawn. Stole Did I? You stole, stole Edward. Edward. He, Edward. He didn't even Sorry, know what Edward. that movie was. No, I, I don't know what the movie is, so go ahead. 
Oh, he doesn't know what the movie no, is. No, he's like, he's like, do you know this movie? I'm like, of course I know Shanghai Nights. And okay. Uh, Edward, you want to say it? Nope. Okay, I'm Shanghai Nights. Down. They're gonna make Shanghai Dawn. Shanghai yeah. yeah. The Does third anybody movie. care? Does anybody care about it? I, you I care about Jackie everything. Chan. Yes. Chan is great. I care about like, it too. I love Jackie Chan. Okay, want to hear my shame? I don't have. We don't. We have. Uh, I got all excited by the preview. So much, so much I had it on my TV for like two years, and I never watched it. <laughs> I finally just deleted it recently. So, oh. I, you know what? I watched a part of it, and it was fine. Yeah, it was fine. It was. It was. Uh, uh, what's the one with uh, Chris Tucker? It Rush was hour? that one. It Rush was hour. Rush Hour in the Old West, right. which sounds awesome, and it had Owen Wilson, but it's still. He was just doing the character he does in Night at the Museum. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it is exactly that. All best, right. So. so are you excited about it? Anybody? No. You're not. You don't care. I'm not, no, not going to go see it in the theater. No. I'll wait for it to come out on If you cared, Blu-ray, you would. DVD. Yeah. If you cared, you would. Yeah. That's mine. Yeah, just... All right. Somebody else come up with one. I'm so... done. Tom, Tom Hardy um, oh, is yes. now backtracking on the Suicide Squad. Did you hear? And now he said he couldn't do it from scheduling, and he okay. really loved the script. And it's just the play to get back into another He's trying Marvel. trying to get back in. Yeah, yeah, that's garbage. Okay. Well, no, 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 no. This whole story's well, garbage. Let's, let's finish with Tom Hardy because right. Tom Hardy also said that he wants to play the Punisher for the Netflix series. Oh. See, what right. he's doing is he's trying to keep his reputation clean, so Marvel says yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they, they're rivals with DC, but he's got to look like a team player. They've right. painted him to look like he's not, even though we're reading between the lines. Yes. Why would he be great as the Punisher? He would be. He's doing. Oh my he's, gosh! He's, Can you he's, imagine Tom Hardy as the Punisher? Oh yeah. I am. He'd be great. Oh my gosh. He is currently doing a film um, with. I can. I, I don't have it up on my screen, but he's doing a film that's gone over four months past its filming schedule. So he said he had to cancel because it was going over because okay. they were doing it like in Calgary or something like that. Do we and, believe this? Uh, he's in the film, so okay. possibly. <laughs> I guess we do. <laughs> I, I, I guess we do. Um, but you know, it, it does kind of sound like a convenient excuse that he bailed on it. So it, d- it does to me. Hey, I'm I'm Mad Max. What do I need to do a, another film like that? Well, yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. So we also I'm, I'm stealing that because that okay. was on my uh, on my thing. We got a lot, a lot of pictures <laughs> from Captain America: Civil War. Yeah, yeah no kidding. Yes. What happened this week? I don't, I don't care. I saw Crossbones, and I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Crossbones, yeah. Crossbones looked Bones. awesome. Remember how bad it looked when we first saw the Ultron thing? And we're like, look, that's yeah. somebody in the costume to take the place. Uh, not with crossbones. This looked no. freaking that amazing. Looks amazing. Like, they, they, for the Ninja Turtles movie, I saw the Casey Jones mask. Yeah. They need to take the crossbones idea and move it to Casey Jones. Absolutely. Because yes. oh, sure. Casey and Jones looks terrible. Yes. So, no, crossbones looks good. Um, they, they showed some scenes with Cap. It looks like they're fighting the Hydra people. It's too it, much. It's, I can't. It's awesome. I'm I can't so wait. excited. Now all they need is red. What? Red. Don't you know the character Red? No. Who's Red? It's uh, Red Skull's daughter. What? She what do you have Red Skull's daughter no, in no, it? No. Well, she's no. a go- she's a girlfriend of Crossbones. But is she gonna be in it? No. No. I guess no. I, she I was in the Captain say... America 1990 movie though. How could you be, <laughs> <laughs> How could you be so, so definitive good. that she won't be? How uh, awesome would that be? Bring her in there. Civil It'd be amazing. War has, like, 50 people in What it. if the yeah. Hobbit is playing Red? <laughs> no, the he's Hobbit. Like, he's the such Red a, Skull's yeah. daughter? He's <laughs> such a personal actor. He could do anything. Art Freeman <laughs> is the Red Skull's daughter. That's Perfect. right. A little short, He's take his mask off and then... <laughs> yes. And then be Halle Berry and that's for Jack. <laughs> Jack be happy. Yes. Oh, Poor man. Jack. He's watching on Twitch now going, really? <laughs> With the Halle we Berry jokes? <laughs> uh, okay, what else do we have? Um... Hey, a, a movie actually moved up in the Marvel schedule. They moved up uh, the second Guardian of the Galaxies from July to May to probably hit the probably hit the. When they make moves like that, I'm always suspicious that there's something. Wait getting a second, that's already been, that there. was already announced for May 2017. Was it? It was originally July though, because they're putting Thor, I guess, yeah, in they that moved slot. It. They moved Th- it up. Thor was no Thor was originally in July. I believe me, I, I've memorized the. Uh... You have a tattooed somewhere, <laughs> right. don't you? you do. I have the whole really painful the schedule. Schedule. Well, it right said down that down the they back. changed it. That was one of the things that they had moved up. I wonder. Then. I wonder if it moved up from. Yeah, uh, you don't want to see what phase May four May. is. So. Well, no, they said they said early. They said Memorial Day weekend. So yeah, that's. <laughs> uh, we'll edit that out. See, thanks. No, we won't. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> so uh, Phase four of a 32-phase okay. plan. They make everything into a TV show. This came out this week. They're developing The Fugitive into a TV show. Wait a minute. It Wait. was a TV show. And then it was a movie. And now they're developing it into a TV show. How genius. <laughs> and you know what? It's going to be the same exact scripts that they did before then. Right. Good. You have the story. Why not? People yeah, don't gonna remember gonna, it. David no, gonna, Jansen. I was going to say, it's, <laughs> Gus Van Zandt is going to make it. It's going to be a shot-for-shot shot remake, remake of the TV show. Except for one scene. Right. And, <laughs> and it's going to be Harrison Ford. I'm still it'll be Vince Vaughn. No, no, no. It'll be Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. <laughs> Vince Vaughn will play that character. Vince Vaughn will play? But who can, Harrison Ford has to be, be t- in it. He'll be the one-armed man. Didn't he lose an arm in that plane crash? Oh, too oh, soon. Starting, oh, starting. really? This is how rumors get started. I, just yes. right. I hear he lost an arm in the Millennium Falcon. Oh, man. <laughs> Chewie, we're home. Oh, Can you hand me my arm? I mean... Wait, I mean, see, I pulled that one off okay a little bit. It's hard to do my Harrison Ford when I can't hear in here, but you guys know it's yeah. spectacular. <laughs> sure. So <laughs> It sounds like every other impression I <laughs> That's do. Right. It sounds like David, David It, it sounds like you Kermit. mumbling into David your mic. <laughs> what, what, Edward? It sounds like you mumbling into your mic. Hey, how dare you? <laughs> I Trade dare. secrets. <laughs> so I, the, they released a behind-the-scenes uh, X-Men Apocalypse picture. Behind-the-scenes? I didn't see it. It's this. Okay. People are speculating. Oh, no, not It's a him. picture of them staring into the sky. With bows and arrows, and they're wearing uniforms that might be Nazi. Might Nazi? Nazi. Because in, of in X-Men? Because of the designs of the uniforms. Yes. So is it going to be... Wait a minute. They didn't have the Nazis. It's supposed to be in like the 80s, right? I wonder if it's a flashback well, there were, scene. There were Illinois Nazis. No. <laughs> I want, no but the X-Men I, take over Skokie. I hate those guys. Yeah, the, it's going to be... The, blue, the Blues X-Men. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be, it's gonna be oh the God. X-Men story <laughs> in Skokie. I hate <laughs> Illinois Nazis. No, yes, Joliet. Yes. They have to do it in Joliet. Yeah, in Joliet, yeah. right. I, I wonder if it's a flashback sequence because because Brian Singer's done this in all, in all those movies. We go right, back to because Magneto Magneto's roots. was yes in yeah, a so. concentration camp. Yeah, it's, it's probably and it's probably going back to that, and maybe there and maybe there'll be a tie-in with Apocalypse with Magneto. Oh, yes. moving the chess pieces. Very over nice. Parallel. Very good. Ooh. Somebody's, yep. somebody's got to have a, you know, a sane comment here. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the wrong show. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, and we're still looking for that participant <laughs> yeah. to come in. We're going to move you over to something else soon. Uh, okay, Brad Bird says his next movie that he's making, Incredibles 2. He's finally announced yes. that's officially it. Yeah. Yes, I am down with The Incredibles 2. Also am I. You didn't see it, though, right? I have seen The Incredibles. Great. Yes. You like it? I did like it. It was very Edward, good. you're not allowed to see it yet, are you? <laughs> <laughs> it's really I mean, it's that's, that's one of my favorite movies. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing, right? It's amazing. Okay, no. Yeah, it's, it's a half hour on that one. Um, yeah, are you excited about that? I mean, I'm yes, totally Yes, I'm this. really excited. Yeah, and The Incredibles is the best Fantastic Four movie ever made. Correct. It really is. <laughs> it really is. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not joking. It is. You're not it joking. exactly it is. It's... And, and again, that's not saying much. Oh, wait, will, will they even have the Mole Man? Jack, oh, Jack, Jack, Jack. I oh, get Jack, that. Jack, yeah. There's five now, but it, it's the same kind of storyline where you get the family of superheroes. And, and then you have... That's what Marvel always wanted with the Fantastic Four. And then you have Mole Man. Right. Well, but two of them are. Huh? Three of them are. And then are. one's married in. Two, three of them yeah, are. Exactly. Yeah. And then a big rock guy who's <laughs> a friend. Yeah. A friend. How did he end up in the Fantastic Four? I have a question. How, you've heard this guy talk, and he's always like, hey, go down to Clancy Street. And he's a scientist that gets to fly into space. He's not with a scientist. Reed Richards. He's not a, a scientist. He's a pilot. He's like a pilot. A, they don't he's hire, a like, a lunkhead pilot to, to a, take the world's greatest scientist. <laughs> so they get him? Yeah. <laughs> I don't buy it. Because all mechanics have to be rough and tumble and you know, right. be lugged. I don't buy it, but I accept it. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, so... Let's end this. That, so, that supports your argument very well. Right. Just I'll let you know. I don't know if I'm late, but the trailer for the Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah, the, the trailer. CW, the trailer for that. Oh, wait, wait. She had something. Wait, okay. wait we got a comment. Oh, yeah. We're having an argument with the audience. What was it? No, we're just talking about X-Men now. But we're Xavier having a side and, podcast? And Magneto, yeah. I like that idea. We're, 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 we're off on our own. Thing. Right. Right. It's almost like the Joker's story, how his origin story changes every time he tells it. Yes. 
Only they're not really doing that. They just keep forgetting, I think. I think maybe I'm writing those scripts. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> yeah, you wish. Yeah, no Darn kidding. right. <laughs> All right, Edward, you had a good one. So the Legends of Tomorrow trailer for the yes. CW. Yeah, did you guys see it? Yes, I, I saw did. It. It's, it's... You didn't give it three thumbs up, did you? No. I mean, I don't know because I haven't seen the recent Arrow and Flash shows, so. Flash is awesome. Arrow, I understand, has gotten pretty rough. But I, I did you seen... like the trailer? I did. It looked really cool. Did anybody watch the Legends of the Future? Legends of, Legends Tomorrow? of Tomorrow? Legends okay, of Tomorrow. Yeah, the trailer, you liked it. You've liked everything we've said so far. You He's and I a... are BFFs. Uh, <laughs> what about the Rob, rest of you? Anyone Rob see it? <laughs> Whole lot of no. Okay. Well, they did the Legends of Tomorrow. They announced the name last week. Which is a terrible name. The name is terrible. It's a one-seasoner is what it is. But it's the the spinoff show of Arrow and The Flash. It's got The Atom. It's got White Canary. It's got... Flash. uh, It's got Captain Cold. It's got Heat Wave. It has Flash. Like villains. And it's like this hodgepodge of characters. They went, hey, these are pretty good. We've got the costumes. Let's make a show. They, More than likely. Andy Rooney. We've hey, got, guys, we've got the sets. <laughs> we've got the sets. we got the sets. Got the sets. People are watching it. The trailer, though, I can't tell if it's any good. It, it, parts it, of it were really cool, and parts of it I was like, wow, this is garbage. I, I give it give it a low kind of thumbs. I, 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 it, wait, wait. You could call yeah. it a sidekick. Give a little League of Geeks <laughs> shout out there. Is it a low kick, sidekick? Low sidekick. That's a League of Geeks thing. They, they rate it that way. So low sidekick from you. Definitely. Edward, what'd you give it? High front snap kick. Uh, up front snap kick. Take that, League of Geeks. Kapow. Chris and I can't raise our legs that high, so. <laughs> and we don't want you to. I'll give it an X kick, yes. Yeah. And Chris is sitting here. All right. <laughs> I, I have not seen it. I will not, I will not no comment. comment. No okay, comment. Okay, so, so I have Mao. to say this to preserve what I am. They released a Deadpool picture. A Deadpool picture. Or Deadpool, yes. <laughs> yes. I saw you're, the pic. You're pick. obsessed with this character. <laughs> I am. I honestly am. Any, anything that's rated R, he loves. <laughs> well, it's not rated R. Rated R. Oh. So, well, I the would. Movie, the movie is going to be rated R. Half R. Yeah, they do. Is he in on 15. a half R? No, they yes? said R. You just got it. Half R. Half okay. R is half R's R's okay. Half R is okay. Woo! It's summer. Half R is approved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when I'm out of town, rated R. maybe full R's. Okay. Huh? Deadpool's going to be rated R. Yeah, it is going to be rated oh, R. really? Yeah. They announced that on April yeah. Fool's Day as part of their April Fool's joke, but it's true. Because the joke it is, great, it's really a joke. Exactly. It was, it was a great way to announce it because uh, yes. Deadpool beat up Mario Lopez. And then he did it again, I think, Yeah, they week. just did it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Really, who doesn't want to beat up Mario Lopez? But, you know. I yeah. love Ace East Slater. Let's just put it that way. You love Ace of Butterfield, too. Did you like Ace of Ace Base? Of did you like Ace, Ace of Base? Of course. <laughs> I saw the sign. I open up my eyes. I saw the sign. That's licensed. We can't sing that in the blue box. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> Ten seconds. Okay. Did we less. cover? Did we cover everything? I think we did. Yeah, I think so. Really? I can't believe we got through. This was a big list this week. There was a lot of stuff. So. All right. Well, let's wrap it up. Thank you for listening to this week in Geek, everybody. Uh, we will thank be back you. with it again next week. And uh, thank you, Blue Box. Stay tuned. Thank Lots you. more to come tonight. <laughs>